Usually, if I'm in a public restroom, for whatever reason, sinks, soap dispensers, I'm the person standing there like, Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shaleen Johnson. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite Amazon finds for the bathroom. We uh, started doing a remodel of our bathroom. Let's see. Um, I guess it was last fall. And we were told that as is pretty typical, I think when you are under construction, we were told it was going to be like three months. This bathroom remodel took uh, five and a half months, almost six months. Turned out amazing. Freaking love it. But uh, yeah, it was crazy. And at the end of this video, I will take you on a little tour so you can see the master bathroom reveal. It's very different. I had a, a decorator uh, or interior designer, I should say, come up with, I had her come over to my house and I showed her my style and I said, okay, so here's what some of my ideas for the bathroom is, are, but I'd love to see your concepts. And so she put some mood boards together and I was like, they're nice. They're, they're exactly what you would expect for a bathroom remodel, but I just want, when I do a remodel or decorate, I always want something that is not like everyone's doing it right now. Like I feel like everyone's got a white bathroom right now. And I'm like, I want something that looks really different and um, isn't like following the trend, but it really reflects like what I like. And I like a lot of different, well, anyways, I'll tell you about that later. Let's get to the Amazon stuff, right? Okay, so first, I love orchids. I send them to people for their birthdays. It's my favorite flower. I love it when people send me orchids. They're just so easy to care for and then they die, but I love them. And one of the things with orchids is if you get a really good fake orchid, it, it will look exactly like a real orchid. So I have a mix of like real orchids and fake orchids. In my bathroom though, I, I got this idea, and I'll show you the picture right here. I got this idea from traveling, like right now we're traveling, so I'm in a hotel room, but traveling and I saw this like beautiful clear vase and these orchids inside of it, but hello, a real orchid won't last. That. Anyways, these orchids I found on Amazon are so lifelike, you cannot even believe it. They're only 20 bucks, they're gorgeous. And um, I mean, for 20 bucks, you would have to spend, you know, probably 50 bucks to get a real orchid that looks like that. And this one will never die. Okay, next up are these metal. Well, they look like metal. I don't think they really are metal, but they look like metal. These little suction cups, these hooks, these things will, they do not come down. Like I've hung super heavy wet towels on them robes you could hang use them to hang your jewelry you could use them to hang you could literally hang clothes on them they're so heavy duty and you can move them around they look beautiful i had silver ones in my old bathroom love them and so then i got gold ones for the new bathroom and and they're just amazing and these are you get two for 16 dollars. that's an insane deal they'll stick on any uh, flat surface. They even, when you buy them, give you this little like, um, I don't know, like adapter. So if you wanted to put them on wallpaper, you could do that. Okay. Next up is this automatic soap dispenser. Now I have a love hate relationship with automatic soap dispensers. Usually if I'm in a public restroom for whatever reason, sinks, soap dispensers, I'm the person standing there like, Like, and, and everyone else is looking at me like I'm an idiot. And then I'll switch to, and I'm like, okay, so maybe this one's broken. So then I'll switch to the person's sink. The, the person who was just standing next to me, theirs was working. So mine should work too. So I'll just go over to theirs. It doesn't work. So for whatever reason, I'm invisible to auto automatic sinks. But I like having an automatic soap dispenser. And this one is beautiful. It's gold. I think it comes in other colors too. Um, it charges with a USB. So you can switch it on and, and so far I haven't even had to recharge it. I just bought it maybe like a month ago. And I, I really love having an automatic soap dispenser in my uh, bathroom, my you know master bathroom, because a lot of times I've got like lotions on or I'm putting on like self tanner or whatever. And then I would get it all over the soap dispenser and then I'd have to like clean the soap dispenser. So now it's just like, it's perfect, I love it. This is a little bit on the pricey side. I think it was 70 bucks, but it's beautiful. And maybe you put it in like, I don't know, a common bathroom or you could put it by your sink in the kitchen. It's beautiful. Okay, this rug I love. 
first of all, it's very, very thin, which is nice you if you're trying to like a door and you need to open and close the door. It comes in a multitude of sizes. I just think it looks stunning and beautiful. And here's the best part, it's washable. And again, I'm just like, I, I don't know, I get makeup all over things in my bathroom, hairspray, um, pet hair, like all the things. And I mean, this is pretty cheap too. It was only, let's see, it was 30 bucks, but it's washable. They have a ton of variety, a bunch of different styles. You'll find one that you love, a bunch of different sizes. Um, I just love the fact that it's washable. Anything washable, especially if it's in the bathroom, huge. All right, next up are these eucalyptus shower steaming things. I don't know what you call them. It's almost like a little, I don't know, they come in this, uh, they come wrapped in silver and then inside of it is this little disc that dissolves as you're taking your shower. But it leaves, I mean, it just, you, you're gonna feel like you're at the spa. Now it's a luxury item. I don't use it every time I take a shower. It probably, when you put a disc in your bathroom or in your shower, don't have it, don't put it like directly where the water's gonna hit it. I will put it someplace off to the side where some water will get to it, but more so like the steam just rele releases this beautiful eucalyptus smell. And it just, I don't know, just makes you feel like you're getting ready in a spa. So I love using these. Um, they are, I think, yeah, they're $25. I think you get like 15 of them. And I will probably put in like one a week. Next up, now in the bathroom remodel, we have all these beautiful uh, vanity mirrors that are, I'll show them to you in a few minutes, but um, they light up and they're gorgeous. But the one thing I did forget was a 10X mirror. And when it comes to like lashes and contacts and just being over 40 and needing readers, a 10X mirror is your friend. And I forgot to have one like installed in our master bathroom. So that's okay because I love a portable 10X mirror. This one is amazing because it's got this adjustable goose neck that you can move it in any direction that you need. You can attach it to the mirror. You can attach it to the window. When we travel, I just remove it from the bathroom. It folds down nice and flat and fits in my suitcase because you know, when you're in a hotel room, they never have a 10X mirror. I shouldn't say never, they rarely have a 10X mirror. And this one, it also lights up, so it's almost like a, a vanity mirror for you, and it just, it gives you what, you know, it magnifies everything really, really well. It's lightweight, it's well-made. I just checked uh, to, to get the Amazon link, and I realized I've ordered this mirror five times. I'm like, why would I have ordered it five times? Well, one broke, one Sierra stole, and then I ordered three for girlfriends. All right, excuse me. Lemon's good. Next up are the M Design Square Cups. They're called cups, I guess, but I love anything square. Square makes so much sense to me. Square allows us to maximize space, storage space. I hate round things to store things in because it's like, it's not good use of space. Are you with me? Like, why? Plus, I, I just love square lines. So I found these, they're clear. They've got a really beautiful gold base to them. And I just think they look so pretty inside this medicine cabinet. They're also short enough that they are very versatile. You can put them in a lot of different places. And I use these for like my toiletries, uh, hair clips. As you can see, all kinds of uses for these. You get, I believe, two for $11. That's not bad. And they're really nice. They look beautiful. Next, we have the marble contact paper. Okay, now let me explain. I can't stand seeing like ugly cleaning products out on the counter, but yet I need to wipe down my area every single day after I've put on my makeup because your girl is a mess. I don't know what it is, but I get makeup on everything. I get tanning lotion on everything. Like I am just a walking, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my ADHD, but like I literally break things and spill things and I, I my clothes are always stained like five seconds after I put them on. So I need to wipe everything down. Plus in my bathroom, I, I am obsessed with hairspray. It's just what I need. So spraying all that hairspray, it gets on the counter, it gets on the floor, and then there's the makeup. And if you don't clean it up like immediately, it just gets, it looks horrible. 
So I, I want wipes so that I could keep out of my counter and I have to like go and get them every, like it needs to be convenient. Are you with me? All right. So I took these, I take this contact paper and I wrap it around my uh, disposable or whatever you call these things, those, the Lysol wipes. Because the Lysol wipes container is ugly. Like most containers are ugly. I even wrap my toothpaste with this. And I know that sounds crazy, but I just like everything clean and white. I hate labels. I don't know if it's an OCD thing or an ADHD thing or just a Shaleen thing, but I think toothpaste is ugly. I think like all the like products that we have out in our counters, they're just ugly. So I don't know if your bathroom is white or white marble or whatever, but. I highly suggest find a contact paper that matches your countertop and then wrap some of the things that you normally have out on the counter and it just it just looks so clean and polished and and it's super inexpensive to do and it's kind of fun it's kind of like a craft I mean this roll costs I think like seven bucks I mean you can do a tabletop there's so many things you can do with this contact paper it's amazing so when Brett and I stayed for a month in New York City this fall, which was amazing, we the people's home that we stayed in, or the Airbnb, whatever, they had these, in all the bathrooms, they had matching, oh, we're talking about labels again, they had these matching soap dispensers. And I was like, this is beautiful. You know, like when you, go, again, when you go to a spa, or you go to a nice hotel and like all of the soap dispensers are like matching and clean. And it's like, oh, that's so nice. And then you go home and there's like a purple bottle and a half empty bottle of this and this spilled over and a razor and then some soap. And like, it just looks messy. And I was like, I am going to, when we do our bathroom remodel, there will be no more shampoo bottles. I'm going to get those soap dispensers. And so I looked up the brand. It's, they were called um, Yamazaki. I hope I said that correct. And I, f I looked them up and I found them on Amazon and now I'm sharing them with you. So they come in a variety, like they come in round, but you know how, you already know how I feel about round. They come in square, which you can turn both ways and which is what you can see here. And they also come in black. They, they come in a variety of sizes. I think they're beautiful. They're $18 each. It's a little pricey, but they look so nice. I'm sure you could find something comparable on Amazon. Maybe that's lower priced. In fact, I think I recall seeing them, but sometimes I'm afraid to order stuff on Amazon because I think like when it comes, it's going to be cheap. And I had already used those, so I knew that they were really nice. So there you go. Last up is this silicone sleeve, and this is a tool or a, a sleeve, I guess you could say, that you can put like your um, uh, hot iron into it. You can put your curling iron, your while it's hot, the wand. Now that's great for travel, right? I mean, like while, because usually when we're going to get catch a flight, I'm like, it's hot. And he's like, we have to go, we have to go. And I have to take that curling iron with me. So I just unplug it, stick it in the, you know, silicone sleeve, wrap the cord around it and I can throw it in my bag and nothing will get burned. The other nice thing about it is when you're staying at a hotel, etc., you know, you don't want to leave a burn mark on their counters. And so it's really nice to just always place it underneath your curling iron or your hot iron or whatever it is, whatever tool you're using that's hot. I also like to use it in my own bathroom because again, I don't, I don't want, I don't know if it would leave marks on the marble, but I'm not going to take that chance. And they're very inexpensive. I didn't put down a price. I think it was like less than seven or eight bucks. Let's see, yeah, I, did, I didn't put down a price for it, but they, they're really inexpensive. Now I wanna show you, um, take you on a tour of our master bathroom remodel. Now listen, if you don't like my taste and this is not your style, that's fine, keep it to yourself. I love it and that's all that matters. The bathroom before was almost all white and that combined with the bright light, the natural light plus the light reflecting on the ocean just made this room almost blinding to get ready in. And I really wanted something warmer, something that would contrast with the bright light of the ocean. I also wanted something that had a very spa-like feel and a little bit more of a masculine flair. At the last minute, we decided to add this wallpaper and I'm so glad we did because that really added to the, just the textures and the colors and the warmth of the room. 
We added additional texture by adding this teak on top of the tiles in the shower and then lining the corners of that plus all edges of the room with this beautiful white rock. And to clean it, you just lift up the teak and the white rocks have drainage underneath them, but they're also removable. We did the floor in this black stone tile and they did an amazing job with this herringbone pattern. It was really important to me to have vanities that could store as much of the product away as possible. So we found these vanities that light up. You just tap them three times on the bottom, which takes the lighting up even brighter and as you lift the vanity there's tons of storage inside plus the mirrors make it super convenient to apply your makeup whether the door is up or down my goal is to keep my bathroom decluttered and feeling like a hotel bathroom well i hope you enjoyed that i hope that you will uh, find some of these products useful let me know below if there's another amazon video that you would like for me to do i was I'm thinking that I should probably do some of the, because I never used to buy clothes on Amazon, but lately I've been finding some like really, really good deals, insane deals, which makes it fun to spice up like date night, like just date dresses and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So anyways, if you would like for me to do a, re there's Brett's foot. Hi. Um, if you'd like for me to do a review of some of my favorite clothing or like accessory finds, that I found recently on Amazon, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Thanks for sharing this with your friends. If you think that they would also like to spend money zhuzhing up their bathroom, uh, I appreciate the comments, the likes, the shares, and I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. All right, I'll see you soon.